Hey everybody, Danny here and welcome to this overview video on how to get up and running with Slack. So, uh, for those of you who are new to Slack, Slack is essentially a communication tool that you can use to communicate with members of your team. And I've really, I stumbled on this um, probably about a year ago and um, so it's 2015 now, it's, it was 2014 when I, when I stumbled on this and um, really solved a problem for me in twofold. So one was I was communicating with um, my team via Gmail, via emails, and so it kind of got stuck back and forth between, you know, getting distracted with things in my inbox and, and just not really being productive. And, and so, um, so it got rid of that. Um, and then the other thing was, was Facebook Messenger. I, I started to use that messaging client to get in touch with, with some of my virtual assistants and some of my team members. And I just found I was getting sucked into the Facebook rabbit hole, so to speak, instead of being productive. And uh, so that was a big, big problem for me. So it solved those two, those two problems. And, um, and, and the, the beauty about that is, is I know that if I get sucked into Facebook, in the rabbit hole of, of Facebook, um, my team is also going to do the same. So if they're stuck on Facebook Messenger and they see a message from me, chances are they may be distracted by something else that's, that's, uh, that's in their account. So... Um, Slack allows you to get really clean, clear, and focused, and that is just so awesome. So anyway, let's get started. So go to slack.com, just type slack.com in your browser, and you're going to click on the sign up for free. Um, you're going to do create a new team. So um, I would just put an email address in here. Okay. And then click next. And then you can do enter your email address again just to confirm. Then the next screen, name your Slack. So uh, basically, you can just, you know, if you don't have a company name, that's fine. You can just make one up. Um, um, I have a publishing company, so um, we just do ABC Publishing. That's not the name, but we just do ABC Publishing. And um, since I already have an account set up for that, we're going to use this. Um, then you click next, and so we have ABC Publishing at Slack.com, and it says uh, the name is available. That's great. So um, we're going to go ahead and click next, and pick a username. So um, you can just put your name. And then confirm your Slack details, and you're going to create a Slack team. Okay, and that essentially is it. Uh, you are set up with a Slack account. Now you can go ahead and explore Slack, and you can go through the tu th the uh, tutorial if you like. Um, it's recommended to do that because they have a pretty interactive tutorial. Um, Using this uh, this username Slackbot that shows you how to kind of navigate through the uh, through the tool. Uh, we're just going to skip this uh, tutorial so I can kind of show you under the hood. And um, go ahead and enable desktop notifications. You can do that if you like. I'm going to close out of that. And uh, you can see here it starts you up with uh, with a couple things: general and random. Now these things are called channels. What's really cool about this is that. Uh, if you have different elements of your business, uh, different team members of your business, you can actually separate them into different communication channels. So, um, for instance, let's say you have, if you're doing Kindle publishing and, um, and you do have a, a KDP promotions team, maybe they submit to Facebook groups or, or try to get some people to review your book, um, you can create a channel and for promo purposes... Okay, you can create the channel and there you go. KDP Promotions channel is set up there. So anyone that's on your team that's specifically doing that sort of work can be added to that channel and can communicate. So all of the discussion that's tailored to that line of, of work uh, can be contained within that channel. So that's really, really good and, and you know, powerful feature. Uh, another one is uh, the direct messaging. So um, direct messaging is just your own 
uh, your own username and whoever else is on your team. You can just send direct messages as you would in, in any other sort of uh, messaging client. So uh, these two things, uh, very simple. Those are the, the primary elements of Slack. And as you scale up and build your team, you can get even more uh, sort of ninja and more, um, you know, scale, scale it out a little bit more um, by integrating with other applications and, um, and, and other services. I know, like, I use a, a project tool called uh, Trello, and I do have some notifications and things that come into Slack automatically based on certain actions that are done. So those are some things that, um, that are a little more advanced and uh, I'll be covering in future videos. But for now, that's, uh, that's basically it. This is slack.com overview. And not only do they have uh, the web version of the application, they also have a uh, Mac or, or a PC. I do believe they have a PC version as well. Um, best to check their website. But uh, if you're running a Mac, um, you have a client here that you can put on your Mac and utilize as well as uh, mobile devices. So uh, again, I'm, I'm sort of a Mac guy. So <laughs> I have my iPhone, I have the application there and it also is really, really great and fast um, between your desktop and your mobile device. So that's it. I uh, hope this video helps and go check out slack.com. Um, let me know how it works out for you.